Confused at how many calories you should be eating each day in order to lose weight and burn fat? If so, you're not alone, and that is the exact reason I created this ultimate calorie guide to help you get unstuck so you can start shedding pounds fast. In this guide, I'm going to teach you my simple three-step process to help make this whole calorie counting, weight loss, fat loss equation as simple and as quick as possible. No messing around. Let's get into step one right now. All right, step one is going to be defining some very simple but very important fat loss terms here. So we're going to go over BMR, we're going to go over TDEE, and we're going to go over calorie deficit. So let's get right into this. I'm going to go pretty quick on this stuff. BMR is calories at rest. So if you were just sit around doing absolutely nothing, you would still burn calories existing. That is your BMR. That is your base on that about rate. So we need to learn that so that we can add that and put that into our TDEE, which is BMR plus our activity level. So total daily energy expenditure, meaning this is going to be the amount of calories you burn throughout the entire day. Now, this is super, super important, and this is the step that most people miss because we need to know this number right here in order to calculate our personal calorie deficit, and a calorie deficit is eating or consuming less calories than our total daily energy expenditure. So that, that is why it is super important that we know this number. So say we figure this out, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the next section of this video, but say we know we are burning roughly 2,500 calories a day. From there, we know that we need to be eating less than 2,500 calories a day in order to lose weight and burn fat. So very, very simple, and I'm going to give you kind of a, a range for us to be in for that calorie deficit. But I want to go over the equation to help us figure out our personal BMR and total daily energy expenditure. And then I'm going to show you a free tool to really make this whole thing very, very simple. But let's get into that equation right now. Step two is what I call the MSJ formula, simply because I don't know how to pronounce that right there. So I just go with the abbreviation. But the first part of this formula is going to help us figure out very accurately our BMR, those amount of calories that we burn at rest. So one thing I love about this is that it has different equations for men and women. It takes into account your weight, takes into account your height, takes into account your age. So we're going to get a very, very good, accurate uh, measure of our BMR. The thing that I don't like about this is you got to convert into kilograms, you got to convert into centimeters, you got to do this whole thing. Don't worry, we're not going to rate this out. We don't have to get a calculator out or anything. We live in the day and age of online calculators, and I found one that is free, and that's going to help us do this. Um, and I'll show you that in the next section of the video. But I just wanted to show you the formula and to have you know that this is very much based on science. So we're not just guessing on this. We're not just putting something in the app and hoping that it's right. Like, no, we're going we're gonna to make sure this is correct, and we're going to make sure it's personalized to you based on your weight, your height, your age, and all that good stuff. So once we figure this out, we're going to multiply that by our activity level, and our activity level categories are both. So we are going to pick sedentary, lightly active, moderately active, active, or very active, we're going to multiply that to our BMR, and then we know our personal total daily energy expenditure. Now, I realize that we're not going to burn the same amount of calories every single day, but we have to at least have an estimate to be able to calculate, calculate our daily calorie deficit. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure this all out. We're going to take our total daily energy expenditure, and then we are going to take 25% of that away, and that's going to be our daily calorie deficit goal. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that in about 30 seconds with this free online calculator that I'm going to show you right now. Welcome to step number three, and this is the best part of everything. It's super, super powerful. You're going to see how all this comes together in literally seconds. So all you need to do is go to legionathletics.com slash calorie calculator. I will leave a link for you in the description below, and you're going to be taken to this page. It's free. There's no opt-in, and you're going to be able to figure out your BMR and your total daily energy expenditure in literally seconds. So for you, put your own stats in here. I've already put these in here. I always use 210 pounds as an example for whatever reason. So let's say this is a 210-pound guy. He's 6'1". He's 41 years old. I just selected a little um, activity throughout the week. I made sure the MSJ formula is selected, and then you just scroll down, and it's already done for you. That is literally it. Your VMR is calculated. Your total daily energy is calculated. And now you're going to be able to personalize your calorie deficit or your daily calorie goal to lose weight and burn fat. So all you're going to do is open up a calculator on your computer or on your phone, 
you're going to put whatever you get in for your total daily energy expenditure, and then you're going to times it by 0.75. This is automatically going to reduce it by 25%. And right there, that is your calorie deficit. That is your daily calorie goal. And if you consistently eat close to this number, uh, you know, for day after day, week after week, month after month, you will see some weight loss. You will see some fat loss. You will start burning some belly fat. But I have one more tip for you is I don't love giving people one number to just fixate on. People get so obsessed with that. So what I do with my members is I give them a range of plus or minus 100. Now I do that because if you look this up, if you want to research this on your own, a lot of nutrition coaches, fat loss coaches will do the same thing. And they'll say to do plus or minus 5%. I've calculated that out many times. It literally comes out to about 90 to 100 calories every time. So I just use 100. So whatever you get for your uh, daily uh, caloric deficit goal, subtract 100, add 100, and use that as your range. So say you're super busy one day, maybe you miss a meal, you're a little bit on the lower end, no worries. You're still in a calorie deficit. That's the most important thing. Say another day you are... Uh, go out to lunch, you have a beer with your buddies, whenever um, you're a little bit higher, a little bit on the higher range, no worries, you're still in the calorie deficit, you're still in the calorie deficit range, that is the most important part of this whole thing. So I would go get a free account at MyFitnessPal or some other calorie tracking app, um, figure this out first, and then put this in there and start tracking and seeing how close you can get to this. You're probably going to have to make some adjustments over time, but this is literally step one, and this is putting you on the path to success and having it be very, very accurate and very personalized to you. Don't go yet. I have one more piece of advice for you that's super, super important. I'm going to get to that right now. The next step in this fat loss equation is starting to add in some HIIT workouts. Eating a calorie deficit is a must, but if we want to see even quicker results, then we need to be exercising. And the best part about HIIT training is the efficiency. This workout right here is only 15 minutes and requires no equipment, which means no excuses. Time to start taking some action. I'll see you over there for the start of the workout.